Greetings, my fellow Narcadians. It's I, Talsar Gilded, Master of the Narcade Order. And today, Talsar plays another Metroid 2 remake. This is version 1.5. Um, it's gone through a few updates since last time I played, so I'm kind of curious to see what they've changed since last time uh, I played this game. Uh, Numerous incidents in the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of these life forms, spreading fear across all known planetary systems. Hoping to secure peace in the galaxy, the Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was the best candidate for the job. Once again, I find myself standing alone against the Metroid menace. What horrors await me within the depths of their home world? Metro game is currently on the way out. Getting the like, controls to figure it out. Alright. Uh, a lot of people have been, you know, playing in the other Metro games, especially Super Metroid, which I thought about playing as well. But when I saw this had been upbeat, I thought, let's delve into something that is not really all that common.
DNA Incorporated quite a few things from, ah, here we go, from, uh, Zero Mission. Scan module for your power suit. This allows the detection of the nearby energy regions unique to the species. The dominant species of SR388 SR hunt, a Metroid's hunt for any form of energy found in nature or synthetic organisms. Leaving behind a uh, deceased husk to be desiccated by whatever. After feeding, they are highly resistant to conventional weapons and possess great ad adapt uh, adaptability in foreign environments. Estimates uh, suggest a small number of Metroids set loose on a pilot plant would lead to the extinction of, of any present life forms. 
as such they have drawn much attention from space pirates, who have repeatedly tried to use them as biological weapons. Scans of the native Metroids reveal their most common form in prior incidents was merely just being used larval stages. While there are records of extreme mutations triggered by space pirates using abnormal stimuli, the Metroid, however, the Metroid homeworld of SR38 is seemingly the only environment where the species can actually transform. The Alpha Metroid has gained immunity to cold temperatures, and the loss of several nuclei within the green membrane has left it vulnerable to the sus and cause of weaponry. A bleeded exoskeleton partially covers it. This organism emerges from the molting of its normal form. Though aggressive, it is relatively weak at its stage, it is new, and its new appendages have yet to grow to the full length and strength. The Chozo were an ancient and mysterious avian race. They clearly advanced. They colonized many worlds, spreading their messages of peace throughout the universe. There are historical records and legends of the Chozo visiting other races with whom they share their knowledge and wisdom. This brief encounter led many brown cultures uh, to their present-day glory. Some say they helped consolidate the very foundations of the Black Federation. The fate of this race is unknown. Evidence suggests they slowly vanished from the cosmos over the course of centuries. All that remains on each planet they inhabited are ruins of their once glorious civilization. Not much is known about SR3's ecosystem. Prior reports describing the fauna as being very hostile. Nearly all observed animals have been carnivorous, and with even the smallest species showing dangerous traits. The harsh environment of the presence of many predators have forced the evolution of arms race, perpetuating a cycle of violence. Extreme caution is advised. Alright.
with Metroid uh, Dread coming out, I may have to finally get myself a switch. Okay, now this is something you can see where they have used assets from Drone Mission for this. How they edited assets, but. I don't bring, I don't think these particular creatures I'm encountering were in the original Metroid game. I don't recall. It's been many years since I played Metroid 2. But, but pretty much I think, ouch, I think pretty much most, if not all of these creatures are from Metroid 2. Statues uh, carve stones. The statues carve stones, and its solid design attests the structure was built to be a sanctuary, possibly with religious significance. The temple has withstood the test of time, sh uh, showing the building knowledge and experience of the Chozo. Scans detect the presence of stationary and robotic entities placed at strategic points inside the structure. No control signals are detected, the units are operating autonomously. Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't know why the fuck I was fussing. 
messing around with that. Uh, all I gotta do is fucking shoot it. I don't know. Probably because I thought because the other blocks needed the bomb, I figured they all needed the bomb. Does something. I know there's a power up in here somewhere. I can see it on the scan. It has to be in here, but I don't know how to get to it. I turned power grip off, did I? 
Yeah, I did turn it off. No wonder I've been having problems. What the fuck is wrong with me?
metro they need to find this area. Okay, wait a minute, let me... Let me loop around to that door.
Okay. Fuck you. Another Metroid 2 Remake version 1.5. Be sure to join me next time. And remember, links will be down below to my Patreon and to my Discord channel if you would like to become members of the Narcan Order. Thank you for watching. <laughs>